Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel Zombie Freak 77 here today for a new series that's going to be replacing the Dying Light series. Uh, reasons behind that, a lot of grinding and a lot of back and forth, just really, really far distances. I could just edit it out, but it would still, it would seem weird to me. I don't know why, but um, whatever. It's it's fine if we ever want to hop back into it. It's there. Uh, today we're going medieval. Early access. Of course, I love early access games. It's nice to grow with a game. Um, don't know much about it. There's some building in it. I know that. I think these people are going to be our workers. Standard. Your settlement will experience enemy raids as well as environmental events. Raids occur at steady intervals. Their difficulty adapts as you progress. Peaceful. There are no enemy attacks. That's not fun. Survival. Enemy raids happen frequently. Fuck that. We're going with this guy. Uh. Well, what you... What? How come you have three options here and then options here? I just want a normal. Just an everyday normal game. A new life. Each settler has a story about the past they left far behind. But now this tattered group has a common goal to build a new home together. Recommended scenario for first time players. Uh, that's that's me. I'm a first timer. I'm young. And just just lube it up before you give it to me. That no. No. No 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 no. Okay, we're gonna start in spring. Alright. I anything that reminds me of medieval dynasty will be really good. Resource, twelve packaged meal. 400 wood, 200 hay, 35 cabbage, 25 chronicle. You guys can read, I'm pretty sure. You guys can probably read a lot faster than I can speak. Equipment. Sturdy wood spear, a sword. That's good. I kind of wanted a sword in Medieval Dynasty. Good trip. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about that game and making comparisons this whole series. Just, Just be warned. Fine wooden buckler. What the hell is that? And Gambison. Okay, we're going to learn new words for shirt. Settler constraints. The number of settlers we can have right now is three. They have to range from that to that. Centimeters. Oh, no. Okay, I'm used to inches and feet. So I think there's... Th oh. You know what? I'm not I'm not mathing right now. Screw that. Lone wolf. This settler starts alone. A meager resource in the harshest of environments. Start in winter. I don't I don't think so. I think we'll go with a new life. How about that? And that's the end of the video because I talk too much. <clears throat> Settlement name. What does that say? Puel hell. Paul Helly, Paul Paul Helly. Uh, made by I Maiden of the Stars. Ooh, am I supposed to care about that? That's a nice crest. I'm gonna leave that crest. Purple Griffin and a red heart. That's that's totally me. That that describes me perfectly. Uh, valley map, hillside or mountainside? I think I want hillside. We'll, we'll keep with the small small, small map right now. That, oh, all right. Reroll character. Okay, so these people I have to... Is this going to be me? I don't want to be a girl. I don't want to be an old man. Advanced customization. Masculine? Hells yeah. Head type, the best type. That's hair, not head. There's no bald guy? This game ain't cool. Okay, so... Skin color. Let's make him... Oh, look at that. He's, like, glowing. Yes. Hair? None. Yes. 
bald me, man. That's that's me. Facial hair. Um, does it matter? Can we change our facial hair color? Let's change our hair color again. Since uh, hey, hair color. Oh, do I have to change my skin? Can I not? You can change your skin color, but not your hair color. Oh wait, yeah, I was clicking on the wrong thing too. There we go. Uh, I think this is more closer to me. Okay, so facial hair. Uh, nope, nope. That's close. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I wish. Those are responsible mustaches. Well, I think it was eight. Yeah, that's me. Background. Well, there's a lot to go into this. Carpentry and smithing. About carpentry, marksmen. Oh, wow. Carpentry, marksman, construction. Creation point cost 23. This one only costs 6. How do I know what I have for creation points? I don't know what to do. This? What am I, cheerful? I guess I'm cheerful. Can I put that back? What was it before? <laughs> I totally fucked that up. Shrewd. <clears throat> okay, so you must already have these. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. They're telling you. But we can change them if we want. I'm not going to get into that. Not right now. Pseudonym. Oh, the pudding. I'm the pudding. I, look at my skin color. Animal handling. Don't have anything in there. Okay, so yeah. All right, I'm getting it now. <clears throat> These are the things we're getting good at. We can cook, obviously. Smithing. All right, perks. Uh, I'll keep what they give us. If there are rain clouds about, Galfred is going to be very unhappy. Getting wet makes him miserable as sin. Uh, I don't know what that means. That doesn't sound like a perk at all. What was that called? Washout. Don't, is my name Godfrey? It is, too. Okay. He needs the finer things in life to thrive. He struggles to cope with the little things like dirt, cold, and hardship. <clears throat> that doesn't sound very fun at all. Um, <laughs> gluttonous. Uh, let's see, is anything here look good? Early bird? No, well, no, I'm more of a night owl. It's still a bird. Uh, oh, cannibal. <laughs> I don't care, man. I'm a cannibal. Religious alignment. Uh... I don't care. Believe what you want. Just don't make it affect my life. All right, so that's group skills. Hmm. Oh, it tells you who's best at what you want on here. <clears throat> that's kind of cool. But I don't want to be a woman, so I'm I'm keeping. <gasps> I don't have any eyes. I think I'm gonna keep my name, Goffred. Terrell, okay. Um, oh my god, more. Okay, summary. Okay, good. I thought there was more. So these are my settlers. I guess this is the one I'm portraying. I thought that said thrifty army cock. Your settlement will experience enemy raids as well as environmental events. Raids occur at steady intervals. Their difficulty adapts as you progress. Said that already. Each settler has a story about the past that left. Okay, you guys said that. Uneven terrain, suitable for a good defensive position. A fair amount of limestone and clay. A moderate amount of fertile soil and vegetation. 
Uh, Alright, yes, we will show tutorial tips. Let's embark. That took 12 fucking minutes. And then I, I skipped over a lot of shit. <clears throat> the plague had ravaged the British Isles, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Untold millions went to an early grave, and those left standing were plunged into poverty, brutally scarred by the horrors that they had witnessed. Nothing would ever be the same again. As the earth quickened in the spring of the year 1353, Gottfried Mirabel and Sweating? Sweet, sweet tint? Come sweaty. Set off into the wilderness to claim a piece of the land as their own, as was their right in the eyes of God and under the law. Here they may lay down the foundations for some kind of future. Perhaps hope will follow. Good land is theirs for the taking. There for the taking. In all four corners of this once mighty land, citizens are rebuilding in the hope that the horrors of the past few years can be left behind. It's possible that they were fighting. There will be fighting, drought, sickness, hunger, but what of it? Life goes on, says Mirabel, and so must we. Into a landscape of rolling hills and ancient crumbling forts the companions trekked. Each ascent rewarded, sweaty, with a view that stretched for many leagues. No enemy approach would go unseen, she thought. They built a camp that would in time become the settlement of Pulheli. Pulheli. I don't know. All right, here we are. Welcome to Going Medieval. Please bear in mind that the game is under heavy development. This means that the game will have some bugs and unfinished systems. You can consult the almanac for help and tutorials. In other words, if it fucks up, oops. Use a WDSD to to hand down, zoom it out, tilt and rotate, hold down. Tilt and rotate. Oh, nice. So this has kind of the same movements as Banished by the looks of things. That's not bad. Number five will reset the camera to its initial position. Okay, that's on the number pad. Alternate controls use the arrow keys. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I'm fine with that. Customize the camera controls in the options menu. You know, back in my day, they used to have a booklet that came with the games, and it told you that in the booklet, but then people that rented the games wouldn't return the booklets. So we were screwed. You can shuffle between layers and building floors. Use the up and down button layers. At the, oh god, this might be a little bit more complex than I thought. Use control and mouse wheel to quickly go through layers. I'm gonna forget all this, but luckily we have the tutorial. Game speed controls. Oh good. I like being able to just pause it and do a whole bunch of building and then kick back in and say, you've gone broke. That's it. All right. First thing we got to do, pause. Get used to these controls. All right, scroll the mouse wheel to go. How far down can I go? Push in the middle mouse button to turn around. You guys look like you're about to drop the sickest album of 2022. Or you're about to do Stop in the Name of Love. I don't know. Now, what is this? Forbidden? I'm taking it I can't pick these up. Oh, they're probably going to do Oh, that's me. That's me right there. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange Orange. Yeah. Now I want to change your name to Steven. So let's see what kind of area we have here. It looks like it's probably coal. Yep. So he's down there in the bottom left corner. Tells you the position. That's kind of nice. It's outside. Stability. And that's coal. Grass, 
So if we need to know what anything is, man, they'll they'll tell you. Oh no. That one says rocky soil. It's got an ivy shrub in it. Okay. Good. I can't take these either? Why not? All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> 17 minutes into the video. All right, so over here, nowhere to store resources. Settlers are idle. Should probably find them something productive to do. Oh, that's mean I don't like being told what to do. Place a stockpile so that your settlers have somewhere to store, store resource piles. That's why we can't. These are probably going to end up going there. So where do we find... Um, furniture production base. Furniture, leisure, miscellaneous, warfare, zone. Okay, we're going to have to do zoning in this too. Okay. Um, destruct... Cut plants, chop, new, no. allow, hunt, mine, harvest. Okay. Well, let's check out the base portion of this. Wooden wall. Oh, man, if the building in this is good, we might be in trouble. Uh, butchering table, campfire, basic research table. <clears throat> I'm betting it's in miscellaneous. Wooden stool, hay sleeping spot. Wooden table, wood torch, clay. It's called brazier. I always thought it was pronounced brazier, like bra, because I'm a dummy. Uh, backgammon, <clears throat> wooden oak brethren shrine. Wood restitutionist shrine? Okay. Merchant stall? Oh, oh. evil does. Unmarked grave? That's. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of those. Uh, a pyre? Holy crap. Oh. Oh, you build a pyre to burn bodies? Am I reading that right? <clears throat> Commit a body to the hungry flames to reduce mortal remains to dust and ashes. I like this game. Wooden Marion and Stick Trap. Default stockpile. Alright, so we've got, oh, we have variants of it. Designated area where resource piles are stored is a default stockpile. A designated, oh, where waste is stored. Oh, we're going to have to worry about waste. Okay, and warfare stockpile. All right. Well, um, do you guys want to make it just like right behind it? Click and drag to place in row or area. And right click to dismiss. So well, how much stuff do we have here? Um... Quite a bit. Let's go about. Let's go three by five. One, two, three, four, five, two. Boom. Okay, so that's. That's all we have to do. Let's see what happens. Oops. Hey guys, what are you doing? Everybody's walking away. Um. So, okay, I'm going to pause it again. Alright, so I don't know what they're doing. Uh, looks like they don't know either. So let's see. Draft. Attack. Banish. Ooh. Cancel action. She's well rested. Uh, she's a coward. Apparently. Jump to go to lair. No. So... How do we get her to do something? Con 
Consume cabbage, prioritize hauling to stockpile. Alright, let's try that. Okay. Can, why is she walking like that? Is that what all you people are going to do? Is there a way to make it so that... Yeah, they're all confused. There's no way that they expect us to do this over and over again. What about you? Okay, Mirabelle, go to hell. Oh, whoops, sorry. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm on the wrong one. Sorry, Mirabelle. That was very rude of me. Inventory, skills, attributes, stats, mood, and health. But nothing has... What does draft mean? I don't know what I'm doing. This is very confusing. Okay, so I made her go over there. We'll just we'll mess around for this for this video since it's already crazy done. Tutorial forbid allow. Settlers will not interact with items that are marked as forbidden. Forbidden items will have a forbidden sign over them. You can allow forbidden items by using the arrow or the allow order or by selecting the item and selecting the allow action. <clears throat> stockpile, you need somewhere to get store resources. You need a, to designate a stockpile zone, which I did. Choose the default stockpile from the zone panel F7. Oh, nice. In the lower left of the screen. I totally forgot what the other one said, you jerks. Oh yeah, okay. So we gotta go over them, and we have to choose... We have to make it not... Oh, allow. Okay, so then we go here, allow. It still seems like I shouldn't have to do this all these times. But I'm sure there's like a... I'm sure there's a way to, to do it all at once. Just say, hey, grab everything that's forbidden. And I forbid you from not forbidding. Jesus, yeah, man, there's just got to be an easier way. Unless it isn't usually like this and they're just doing it at the beginning. Um... Allow that. Usually, if I don't know what I'm doing in a game like this and I'm recording it going the blind playthrough thing, I will um, watch videos to get the, the right answer to what we do and then I'll just show it in the next video. So if I still don't know what I'm doing by the end of this video, I will in the next one. Alright, let's see what happens. Hey. Hey. Oh, can I release her from my spell? Yeah. There you go. All right. See, we're learning. We're learning. I don't have any suggestions on what to do there. There's the list of everything that we have. Cabbage. Hey, right on. <clears throat> Packaged meal. You mean roasted meat, right? Oh, okay. Um... Should we... Oh, what is this? Hey guys, over here. There's food! Is that? Oh, I thought that was a house. That is not a house. That... I thought that was a house. Never mind guys, I got all excited there. Now I know we don't have just houses, right? We have floor, door. Um, I'm gonna pause this again. Boo. 
jobs. Oh, here we go. Oh my, f this looks like Sudoku. The job panel is where you can prioritize each settler's tasks. By default, settlers will prioritize their jobs from left to right. Using that and that, you can change job priorities that are given to settlers who, ch who, ch who will choose one job before another. I lost my breath there. Jobs seem to be the same priority level, set to be the same priority level, will be prioritized left to right. If the job box is empty, that means the settler will never do that job. Settlers will always do the highest priority job that you can find, that they can find. Okay, I understand this. There's a lot of reading to do in this. If a specific job is not on anyone's priority list, that job will never get done. The frame color of a job box indicates the settler's skill level. Okay. If a settler has very low ratings for a specific job, it is better to turn that job off completely for that settler. Otherwise, there's a chance they'll do the job and fail. Don't want any failing. Everybody's got threes all the way across the board. So, everybody's good at everything? Am I seeing that right? Okay. Let's see what we do. I see what we do. Hmm. Where do I want my house? Don't want it over the coal. Go here. Oh god, really? Okay, you can hold it down and and go. I'm gonna do this five by whatever the hell that is. Oh, can I tell them to do that stuff? Cut plants. I don't know. Yes. All right, let's see what they're gonna do. Whoa, you guys are awesome. Look at that. Smash in the air? Am I wasting all my wood on my floor? Hey man, look at all the XP. Hey, how come he's getting more XP than the women? They're all doing the same job. He's getting 10 XP, they're getting 9. Game is sexist. Uninstall right now. Um, hey, guys, I don't want this on my floor. Can, can, can you come pick up the sticks, please? Okay. Take those sticks back with you. Take those sticks back with you. Alright, so I'm guessing we're going to need more wood, so I'm going to get them to chop. Can you guys just do that by yourself, or do you need me to hold your hand? Over here, guys. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we do have the, the three trees being chopped down. Four trees? Three trees. Uh, I don't want to dismiss it yet. Do I have to sit there on... Now, if I... To issue an order, I did that. Drag to issue order for an area. Drag to dismiss. So let's do this one and this one too. Tutorial for construction and for orders. Not enough beds? There isn't even a fucking wall yet. You're gonna sleep on the ground regardless. You and your smart mouth, somebody pick up those sticks. Now, if I do this, do they stop it, or... No, they keep going. Okay, good. Which means we can... You gonna go grab those sticks, bud? Maribel Mills Botany Skills. That rhymes. I know there's no S on that, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, I didn't have enough... for those. Okay, so when we'll have to expand the... How did I do that? Stockpile. 
We'll expand this out because there are some things there. <clears throat> All right, you don't have to run around like a teacher's pet. Back to the base. Um, so wood wall. A simple but solid wall built from wooden logs for five wood. We have 413 wood. <laughs> uh, let's just make this super simple right now. No, did I do that wrong? How thick are the fucking walls? I feel we could probably save a lot on wood. If we maybe made the walls a little thinner. It's cool, I like being able to see them through the walls. Except for when they're peeing. That's gross. <clears throat> All right, so let's go up here. Put that there. We'll go wall, window, wall, door, wall. Like that. Window, door. I kind of like this telling somebody where to build and then they build it for me. Kind of like it. Not gonna lie. All right, uh, and across the back. I feel like I should have a... Oh, the stockpile is gonna be right beside my house. I'm gonna have to change that later. Not right now. And we'll do the window. And we'll do the door. Um, how do I get out of here? I have to dismiss. Why? What? Why are you upset? Not hungry? Anything? Constructing? Well rested? She just had a grumpy face over her head. Oh, sleep 39%. Well, what's this? Oh, hit points. Oh, I'm reading it wrong. Okay. Uh, so everybody's done there? You all good? Smoke them if you got them. Or what is she doing? Okay, her rest is at 39. I'm assuming they're all at 39, so we need to get beds. Uh, furniture. Not a bed. Uh, uh oh, do we have bed somewhere? Leisure is that a, is a bed really leisure? Uh, where's the bed? Do we not have one? Oh, maybe there was a research table that we had to build. Okay. Sorry if there's a little couple of pauses in here, guys. I'm, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Uh, rotate Q and E. Oh, are we out of wood? No. Nope. Uh, place it there. Oh, did I not put the windows in that side? I did not. Who's the dummy now? Still me. Yeah, if I can get that out of there, that'd be really nice. Variation. Oh, no, I wanted Mirabelle. Still looking for okay, not enough beds. The number of beds. Oh, oh, 
I was looking for the word. Shut up. I'll build this really, really fast. Okay, sorry I was just quiet again there for a little while. Just trying to enjoy and see what's going on. Um, deconstruct, copy, relocate, remove. Okay, you guys can go to bed now. Yes. Are you, see? Yeah, there you go. Snooze the night away. Oh. When are you guys going to wake up? Should we do these tutorials? <laughs> Issue orders to your settlers with the order tools in the right lower, lower right corner. Try selecting the chop tool and left mouse button and drag it over some trees you want to cut down. Okay, I, I figured that part out. And construction. Your settlers still need somewhere to live. Start by placing some wooden walls from the base panel in a rectangle, then adding a wooden door and thatched roof over it. Place sleeping spots for the, from the furniture panel inside so your settlers have somewhere to sleep. Now, how am I supposed to see in there or put anything in there if I have a roof on it? Smaller structures like furniture, workstations, and decorations can be easily relocated. Select an already constructed structure. Click on the relocate button. Yeah, we figured that out. Structures that are removed will turn into a resource pile and can or, and can be stored on stockpiles and even traded with merchants. Okay, good. So, I'm going to try to build a roof on this and then I'm going to call it a a day for today. Damn it. Um okay, 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 hold on. Yeah, you see how it <sighs> Hey guys, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, where is deconstruct? Oh, don't take down the whole thing. Okay, I had to... Shut up, game. Nobody likes you. Um, I have to put back the door. Oh, I have to put back the wall first. That's kind of nice. And... Shit, was that a window or a door I just put in? I think it was a window. Doesn't matter. So let's try this again. We're going to deconstruct this Mirabelle get back here are you got this one now okay so now let's go to thatched roof uh, rotate Right there. All right, that's better. That's much better. Even hangs off the side there. It hangs off the side, so that's good. I still don't know how I'm supposed to see inside. Oh, okay. No, that's not right. Uh, let's get rid of this. 
Okay, I can. So if I need to go in and take anything, I can. Alright, so production. Start producing something, select a workstation and add a product from the product list. Set the number of products you want your settlers to make. Set the food production to until you have mode so your settlers will continually produce if they have material up to that required number. Okay. Kind of close to... What do we got here? One chronicle. Job type research. Now. Um... Until you have 25 of 35? Sounds right. That's okay. <laughs> oh, there's a little timer right there, too. That is cool. I like that. Well, there's our first building. Um, let me see if there's a way to get rid of the HUD. Boo! Ah, uh, that would be a game? Yeah, it's not going to have it. <laughs> Send crash report. Oh, no. Um, let's see here. Maybe it'll say it in here. Reset camera view. Fast camera movement. Tilt. Pause game. Almanac? Oh, I didn't know there was an almanac. Uh, nope, nothing there. I may have to do this the hard way. Research, expand, relocate, remove, install. Install? I don't want to do nothing. Okay, uh, cancel that, cancel that, and we will resume. Let's see if this looks like it's the lowest it'll go. You guys want to come outside for a selfie? Um, only one of you is coming out. All right, well, let's go with this one. And we'll see what I can do. I can probably crop out a lot of the, a lot of this stuff. But learned a lot in the first day. This is just the building aspect of it. The only part that I really, really, truly care about. Well, that was rude. He chopped down the tree, left the sticks. She went out and got the sticks. Wow. Um, how to save. Options. Save. St um... Start start dot save what override uh yep yeah, that's the time all right guys um interesting so far uh, I'm gonna probably really like the building aspect in this I can tell especially I I believe you open up more as you go along different styles different uh, materials so should be good. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.